Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you have never been to my channel and this is your first time, thanks for popping in to check out this video. So jumping right in guys, today I'm gonna to show you WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. Right off the bat, I do have to tell you that this is a sponsored video. Digiary, the makers of the software, reached out to me and asked me to do a uh, quick tutorial and or review on the software. Um, so it is a sponsored video, link in the description below. Uh, so guys, basically what this is, WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe, it's, it's a software program designed for video conversion, really. Um, and like I said, it's developed by Digiary Software, and it's actually available for both Windows and Mac. So you Mac users also can use this as well. So let's take a look at this, guys. Um, go ahead and download your free version or buy a full license if you want um, after this. This does a whole lot of stuff here. You can actually convert to, you know, to be viewable on smartphones and you can do uh, videos from drones, camcorders, etc., etc. It's It's kind of cool, actually. I've been messing with this for a few days now. Uh, so let me show you how it works. Once you get it downloaded, again, link in description below. It's just this link here, and then click on download free trial or buy the full license. Once you get this downloaded, I've already got my downloaded and opened here. This is what the interface looks like. And it's very simple. I love that about this interface. Now, the first thing I did is change the destination folder because I like to work off of my desktop when I'm doing any type of editing or video conversions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, this might, of course, vary for you guys if you prefer a different location, but I changed mine to my desktop. Now, up top here, you see we have video, photo, we can clear the current project, and then here's some options up here. And I'll go through each one of these here in just a moment. Um, but let's continue here just looking at what they've got to offer in the interface here. Um, check for update. That's pretty obvious. Now, this little button here, you will click that. It basically gives you the information, you know, about the product and stuff like that. You go on to the next. That's kind of like their support. And they're telling you right off the bat, more than 95% of of uh, questions can be found in the user's help so check that first um, they even have a option for you to bring up the log file and or send them an email if you can't find what you're looking for in the FAQ um, aside from that over here you can change your language or request additional help right here so anyway guys let's take a look at this um, I've actually got a I've got a uh, video on my desktop this video is an mp4 video so let's just go ahead click video and this is the video that i want and i'm going to hit ok on that so that brings this up here now this is what i've recently used just to kind of mess with this um, but what you can do it's an mp4 you can actually convert it to other file types here so, and also here you see that you can actually, if you got like a, a 1080 or like a, a 2K video, you can actually up it to like a 4K, um, or if it's a 4K, you can bring it down to 2K. And um, it, it's got a lot of different options here. Uh, what we're gonna do for this demonstration, um, I'm just gonna choose an MOV, which is just an old, Apple QuickTime format. So let's say I want to bring it from the MP4 that it is to the MOV. So I'm going to choose that. Now, if I, I have this little slider here, if I choose the LQ for, that's going to be low quality, but it's going to render and go through this process a little faster. If I choose HQ high quality, it's going to render a lot slower and take a little more time. Um, so for now, I don't really need to do anything with this other than show you guys. So I'm just going to choose low quality. Object. I'm choosing MOV video, and then I'm just going to hit OK. But before I do that, I also want to show you guys this. So say, for instance, you have your own video here or another video, and it has music or sound or whatever in it. You can actually tell the, the HD Video Converter Deluxe here to just strip the music out of it 
and you can save it to an MP3 or whatever the case is. So I thought that was kind of a uh, cool little option. You can extract the music out. Um, of course, don't do that, you know, going against copyright violations and laws and stuff like that. Um, just make sure that you have legal access to that music. Um, so anyway, um, that was just something cool to show you. Um, along with this, you can actually convert it to uh, different Apple device options, Androids, Microsofts. So I got a whole list of stuff here. And uh, so there's a lot for you guys to go through. Just take a look at that and just play with it a little bit. That's that's the fun part of it. So anyway, what I'm going to do is the, um, the MOV. And we're going to do fast. And I'm probably not even going to let it fully render just, uh, you know, to save time on this video. But then all you do is hit OK. And then you hit run. And it will actually start to render. You'll see it pop up over here on my desktop. But like I said, I'm not going to let it go through all that because I don't want to bore you guys. Um, so let, let's just go ahead and get rid of that. The other cool option with this, guys, is you can actually go in here, photo also. Now I put uh, a folder of photo images on my desktop just to show you guys this. So that's what we're at, where, where we're at, desktop, choose images. And what this option does, guys, it's, it's kind of cool also is like say you have a handful of images you want to turn into a slideshow um, in mp4 or mov or whatever video format you want you can go in and do that you just add the photo folder and then if you want it mov or you can do general mp4 2k and stuff like that so again it's the same thing here for when you converted video but you're just basically taking your pictures and converting them into a movie file type so that's also a kind of a cool option as well um, and so once you choose what you want you hit ok and you know then it prepares it here and then you just hit run again I'm not gonna do that because I just don't want to waste uh, you know the time showing or going through that and letting it all render but anyway, guys, yeah, I mean, it's really cool. It does a really good job. Like I said, I've been messing with the software for a few days, and I really do like it. I'm, I'm really glad that uh, they reached out to me because I do a lot of this with my YouTube channel. I, I will need to convert videos sometime to add in clips or whatever, and it's really nice to be able to do this on the fly. Um, you do have different options here, too. You can change your language here, too, but... You can tell it how many cores of your CPU to use. And there's some different things here as well. So anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. Again, the website is right here. It's just winxdvd.com slash hdvideoconverterdeluxe. And I have put that link down in the description below. I hope this helps you guys out. If so, feel free to please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.